the 146. The 146 now is an interesting character because you have the ethical, responsible, intuitive type that is highly creative, yet in a way they want to be by the book and they want to know the rules, but they also don't want to be limited by them. So you, you get someone that is diligent and often morally focused. So even if they're not a social subtype, there's kind of a real ethical quality to this type. They're skeptical. They can be cynical, except the four comes in and says, no, we must find meaning. So the one says they should do what's right, and the four says, what's the meaning of this? What's the purpose? And six says, I, I need to know what to do. So we have two compliant types with the one and six, with the four that's withdrawn but deeply feeling. So depending on the instinct, this is someone that's kind of orderly and thorough, but they want to be special and they're kind of a teaching personality again. This makes a great teacher. In fact, this makes a great teacher in the arts. Someone that has, you know, strong emotions, this type is inclined to voice them. That six kind of propels them to at times rebel and voice their emotional truth. And then, of course, they beat themselves up if they say something that they shouldn't, not unlike the one, two, six. They care deeply and want to help others improve. Again, this is another type that's improvement-oriented, which is why they make good teachers. But the goal now is not just getting the information. It's wanting to find truth. And truth not the way the eight will look for truth, like an inherent kind of justice and truth, but like who's telling the truth kind of personality. Are you telling the truth? Are you telling the truth? What truth can I believe? So the sixth doubt comes in and creates a more reactive personality because four and six are reactive. And then one can have a zeal. So if this person happens to be a sexual subtype, you can get someone that's really intense and identified with their personal perspective and very fastidious in nature. And they're almost as busy as the 136, but instead of just doing, 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 they must find meaning in what they were, they're doing, which is why they often enjoy being teachers. A lot of teachers with this tri-type. They're philosophical, too, and they're happiest when they use their intuition united with their wisdom to help others find meaning. This type wants to find their people, so to speak, discover what's meaningful, and help others do the same. So we can think of many different fours that are focused on meaning, but this particular combination is the everyman that wants to find meaning. So it's like, I'm with you and I'm an individual. Together, we will find what is really meaningful and significant. And if you think about shaping minds, the, a teacher that adds meaning to educating could be quite extraordinary at helping others find unique things in themselves. The problem and struggle, uh, the blind spot for this tri-type, is they can be so identified with what they perceive is morally correct and doing what they should, that they can almost appear prudish. So here's this deep, meaningful person that's innovative in their own way, in terms of intuition. But they can be so rigid in it that they don't seem flexible. And they can seem a little one-ish. In fact, this fours with this tri-type can think they're a one again because of this rigidity, and they can be quite inflexible if they're unaware. There's nothing in their tri-type that says to challenge what they believe. So their growing edge is to realize that they are focused on safety and security coming from knowing and being safe, and they don't even necessarily know when they've sold out to a degree. 
They only know it later when they realize that they don't feel good about what they're doing. And then they say, oh, wait a minute. That isn't what I wanted to do. Not unlike the three. But in this case, the four need for meaning will come up earlier. And the role that they will fill is more if they're a social subtype. They're highly responsible. And when they feel insecure, they can be overly critical of themselves, not unlike the one, two, six. So you can see these variations that one, four, six, and one, two, six share a lot in common. The difference is that the four must find meaning and the two must give. So that's the variable, but they're both pretty rigid with themselves and can be inflexible. So the growing edge is to trust what they intuitively sense and to do, like the twos are already overdoing. Well, when the fours in this combination, they need to do more. The way through this distress is to give, but it's not what they feel like they should be doing. They feel like they should be educating you on what you should be feeling and what has meaning. And it's more like giving a free, more evolving experience through education rather than narrowing it. Overly orderly and and perfectionistic, this tri-type, like the 126, needs to be a little less self-focused in their idea of what is intuitively guiding them and see what others are feeling and helping them discover that instead. The weakness for this tri-type is to feel something, but it's more like how this person would be feeling themselves and then projecting that onto others. And there's a time and a place for that. But they're growing edge is to look at the other individual and what they actually are feeling and guide them from that perspective. And in so doing, they can do the same for themselves. Not demand that they're creative, demand that they're intuitive, but to allow themselves to be so that their own natural creativity comes up and not try to force their intuitive impulses and their creativity into a specific way of being.